kindergarten and it's for four and five year olds during the summertime to get them ready for kindergarten when they start in August. Because most of these kids have not been in any kind of a structured setting, any kind of a um, daycare. Some have, but most of them have not. So they need to learn um, the school situation and, and the routines and schedules and how to cooperate with other children and get along and follow classroom rules. So it makes it easier for the kindergarten teacher. We do do some academics. Um, their main focus though is on social skills and developmental skills to prepare them for kindergarten because they'll have to rotate into different centers, they have to follow the rules, um, learn how to get along, how to share, how to use the equipment appropriately, um, the crayons, the markers, the scissors, how to cut without cutting hair and, and things like that. So it's, it's really crucial for them to know those skills going into kindergarten. They, um, they're prepared, they're ready, they're excited for kindergarten, they're not afraid to leave mommy or daddy. That's another issue that we have to deal with. And um, just getting them ready, and, and there's a lot of growth for these children that have a little bit of preparation going into kindergarten. Especially in the pre-K, because we are doing more developmental skills, and they're not just jumping into the academics. So it gets them um, at a level where they can start learning the academics. It's, it's really important for them at this age, at four and five year olds, to have those prerequisite skills for learning. So I see you're happy to be out of school, I take it, right? So you know what we're offering today is for the students, come in here and get a nice cut. And all we ask is you to read us a book, okay? You, it looks like you brought something in. All right, okay, okay. They can either bring in a book or we have books available up front. And they grab a book, they come to the barber, um, decide upon what they want as far as a haircut. And then their payment is they need to read a book to the barber. And that's their way to continue their reading education and our way to give back. I think it's an amazing idea. It keeps the kids interactive, keeps them, because uh, with the summer break and everything, you know, a kid could get lazy, but with this, it keeps them on the right path and something nice and easy. I thought it was a great idea for our students to give back, especially since we are part of the school district. It was a way to give back to our own district, and it's been a lot of fun. The kids really enjoy coming in and reading, and that's their payment for the haircut is to just sit and uh, read to the barber. In some cases, the barbers have read back to the students. It's been very interactive and a lot of fun. So you said you're only 12, right? It's a pretty advanced book, man. I'm pretty, pretty impressed. Pretty big words in there, you got it. The first week was kind of slow. It took us a little bit to get it out there, but this week the response has been great. Uh, we're gonna do this again before school. We wanna give our kids in the area a chance to come back and get haircuts get ready for back to school. And it's been a lot of fun. The kids are having a blast and the students are having a good time. I've driven with my mom a couple times, but it wasn't really, I haven't been in traffic yet because a lot of limitations with your parents teaching you is their fear of their car and their life. So it's really, it's really hard for them to also find time to teach me how to drive because it's like 50 hours. We have to have 50 hours of driving, so it's hard to find that time while parents work. Marion County Public Schools has been providing driver's education classes for a long time now. One of the biggest benefits of students taking these classes is the confidence they gain from their experience behind the wheel. I love this program because it like introduces you to the road before actually taking you out there. I've always been a little bit timid of the road because it's just a scary place. Like cars are scary in general. So it shows you like the risks but also how to prevent the risks. And they take you out on the road into neighborhoods and downtown and just show you what it's like to be behind the wheel before you're doing it by yourself. It's not really about you when you're behind the wheel. Yes, there's always the risk that you could accidentally swerve off the road and get hurt, but it's other people's lives that you're not responsible for. But if you get in a crash with them, you are responsible for that. And you're responsible for taking that away from them, messing up their day. So I feel like that's the biggest responsibility a teenager has, dealing with the consequences if they happen to crash into something or somebody else. 
With the no homework policy this year, um, it was especially important for us to have something that um, is not homework but is enrichment or just um, some way that parents could use the materials to um, to talk about academics at home that um, wouldn't need to be turned in for a grade or as homework. We utilize the Title I van. Unfortunately, they only come once every few months, and so um, and where we're located, the the Title I office isn't in our neighborhood. Uh, it takes a little bit of a drive so we wanted something that when parents um, drop their kids off it would be convenient for them to come in and uh, check materials out or when they're picking up or um, you know when we have our parent nights they can come in and peruse the room and get stuff that they can do at home. I think it's great I mean they have all kinds of games and learning activities for them that they can take home um, so it, it's great. We got some books and some strategies on better ways to get him to sit when we're reading to him and stuff. He nibbles on his lawn till the last blade is gone. What does it mean to nibble? What do you nibble? So ask those questions. We have partnered with Fiddlers and um, they come out and do a parent um, workshop with our pre-K uh, parents as well as our kindergarten parents. And uh, Miss Stephanie from Fiddlers, she works with them and gives them lessons and tips on um, things that they can do at home um, academically and behaviorally. If you want to teach more or less, what's the best way to teach more or less? Food. <laughs> <laughs> and, and food. <laughs> My role is to um, increase parent knowledge and help increase parent involvement in schools. So um, I go out into the different schools and community um, and provide parents with resources, trainings, uh, materials, and strategies that they can use at home. It's very important um, because parents um, are their um, child's first teacher. Um, they're with their kids more than their kids are at school. So giving parents resources that they can use in ho at home to help reinforce the standards and the skills um, that their students need at school, um, it's key. Last year we opened our summer libraries, um, we opened our schools and we kept our libraries open at select sites for parents to come in with their students during the summer and check out books, um, do activities, hear a story read by the library media specialist, make a hands-on interactive project, and just relax in the library, use our computers, um, just have a place to go if the public library wasn't as close as the school library. Um, it was very popular last year and we decided to try to open our libraries again this summer. So we have nine summer school sites open where the public can come, parents, students, and use our facilities. Um, they're all staffed with certified library media specialists and they have scripted programming every day. It'll be an hour of story time, an hour of checkout, then an hour of interactivity. Um, it's also open for our third grade uh, summer school students who are at the summer school and it's open to our VPK students as well. It's just one day a week. It's on Wednesdays from 8 to 2 um, and it's closed for lunch for 30 minutes and from 8 to 2 you can come with your children and check out a book.